Okay, so this is my attempt to call Lowe's. You can see one hour and 50 minutes. Around one hour and 15 minutes, the music ended. So I thought I'd been disconnected, but I'd never heard that eh, 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 eh sound that the phone makes when you're disconnected. So I think the, the music ran out and they just didn't rewind it or whatever. I don't know. So I'm gonna explain what happened. Uh, I just wanted you to see the time there. It was 1.50 something. Okay, I'm gonna get into the shot now. What time is it again? It's uh, 1.50, going on 1.51. <coughs> so I'm kind of going in and out <coughs> of the house. I'm working in the yard. I'm not gonna sit here on hold. I was on, I was on with LinkedIn. I connection requested, I don't know, five or six LinkedIn executives. I explained what I was doing. The reason I was I was uh, connecting with them was because I'm on hold as I speak, as I write you right now, I've been on hold with your store in West Hills, Lowe's West Hills, and uh, uh, they're not uh, responding. They're purposely putting the phone onto uh, the answering machine, the, 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 the on hold. Now, let me just point something out. This is something scary that's going on. I don't like it. I'm having an issue with my um, home property tax. There's Prop 58 so that it's not supposed to go up when a parent passes away and they give the property over to somebody else. Well, I was already on the deed anyway. And uh, I filled out my form, but they're taking anywhere from four months to a year, apparently, to process it. So what happens is your property, my property tax bill like tripled. So I paid what it normally was. I asked them to expedite it. They apparently did. I was told over the phone, it's now been I think two weeks uh, or longer, that they were approving my Prop 58. In the meantime, I got a letter on, July, on June 1st saying if I didn't pay the extra, they were going to put a lien on my home on July 1st. So I called immediately in, and guess what happened? Over and over and over, answering machine for hours. So now it's happening again. And I'm going to make a, a crazy point now. This is because of crypto and blockchain and all that crap. Okay? Because somehow this is all data. This all turns into data. So if they don't pick up the phones, it makes their data look better. And then they shove it into the blockchain. Blockchain and crypto make money off of this crap. They make money off of not answering the phone. That's my accusation. So it's easier to falsify the records for anything to do with blockchain or crypto and just pretend it never happened because then it gets encoded and then it's reality, baby! That's what's going on. So all you crypto freaks, F you! Your system does not have any balance and checks in it. Checks and balances. None! It just wants to suck in data and charge for sucking in the data. It doesn't matter if the data is accurate. It doesn't matter if the data hurts people. It doesn't matter if they don't pick up the phone. That's what's going on. So this time, one hour and 54 minutes with lows. And because one guy over there who's picking up the phone refuses to answer it and he just put, puts me on hold over and over. And why? Because I want to speak to the manager. Oh, but why do you want to speak to the manager? Because I have a receipt that I prepaid for 250 pavers. I've only picked up about 50 or 60 of them. I want the rest of them. Well, the receipt's over three months old, so, you, so too bad. Really? That's it? You're not even... Are you the manager? No. Let me talk to the manager. And he pauses, and I go, Jesus Christ, and he hangs up the phone. Pardon me. So anyway, I call back. The phone goes directly to uh, answering service for tw 22 minutes of music. Then it disconnects. I didn't wait, though. I went outside. I got work done. Then I call again an hour and 23 minutes. They put me on hold. And then it disconnected. Now it's one hour and uh, 55 minutes. 
And from what I can tell, the line's still open. The green light's still there. There's no eh, 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 eh sound. So they just turn the music off and they're letting it sit there. So this is the solution nowadays, huh? Not only do we get crap service, but when we even get crap service, the crap service people just ignore us. And I think this is a violation of the law because even though Lowe's has a 90-day uh, uh, limit on, receipt, on, on honoring receipts, that's different from pre-ordering something, okay, and prepaying. I prepaid for a product. We need to, I, I kept my receipts. You really shouldn't be dumping them after 90 days. If you choose to do that, that doesn't make you right. And on top of that, I've been going there for 10 years. You cleared out the stores and put in all new people, not me. So why am I suddenly the person that's not known and can't be trusted? If you kept any of the people in there from before, they all knew me. They all knew. They all would have remembered. Any of them would have remembered. I was even told, look, after 90 days, we're not going to have a record, so you better keep your receipt so that you can show it to us. That's what I was told. So, anyway, I'm not really angry. Um, but I am angry about the crypto thing because I really think I've kind of figured this out because nothing's for free. All that, and the mining stuff, who knows what's going on there? My Mac Mini heats up at the weirdest times. It gets hot to the touch and I gotta shut it down. I thought it was the email at first, so then I shut it down on another day and it still got hot. The voltage was up to 125 volts, but I don't think 125 should make that much of a difference over 121. So I'm thinking somehow they get into your computer and they use some of the, the power to mine. So they're stealing from you and burning out your computer. There's a lot of crap going on. And we're all just letting it happen. Well, we're not all letting it happen. It's sort of just happening. Whatever. So, uh, anyway, Lowe's. I want my pavers. And just in case anybody's wondering, why don't you just get all your pavers at once? Each paver, I, I forgot I was going to weigh it. I forgot to weigh it. I think they weigh about 15 pounds each. 10 to 15 pounds. So if you order 250 of them, do the math, that's 3,000 pounds. So my little my little uh, wagon's not going to take 3,000 pounds of pavers. It barely takes 400, 500. So and that's with me very carefully spreading them out, strategically doing it. So I have to make multiple trips anyway. Anyway, uh, I'm not liking this kind of control. I mean, how come Lowe's doesn't know that one of their stores is just blowing off their customers? Why do I have to go to all this trouble to let them know this? And this isn't just today. When I called last week before I came in to get my pavers, the phone rang like 30 times and I gave up. If they had picked up, I could have explained everything. So when I came in, it wouldn't look like this guy is coming in out of nowhere trying to scam them. They at least would know I was coming and that's an advantage to the customer. If you tell them ahead of time, I'm coming in, this is what happened, I need these pavers, blah, blah, blah. But when you just come in blind, they're just going to look at you like, who the heck are you? You know, even though I'm the one that's been a 10-year customer, you've only worked there a month or two. So, Lowe's, you got to fix this. And another thing, I'm going to throw in something for free. All right? You guys are so unorganized in your stores that if somebody takes product and it's in the computer that they've taken the product and, quote, put it on the floor... But instead, they put it like three racks high and then they run out at the bottom where it's actually kept and then they don't look to take their product and put it on the bottom. It's literally sitting on the third floor. There's none on the bottom, but the computer is reading that there's product on the floor. Meanwhile, their supplier is getting screwed over and then Lowe's can even go to them and say, well, you know, your product's not really moving very well. We're going to have to get rid of it. And the whole time, their product was sitting on the third tier. they got those things that go really high up. I've seen this happen over and over and it drives me nuts. How can you be the manager of a store and walk around and not notice that there's an empty thing there on the bottom of a product and 20 feet up or 15 feet up, there's a whole 
string of boxes over there of the product just sitting up there. And how can you, like, what's your job? What do you do? Just sit in an air-conditioned room and, like, well, I handle the Northwest, uh, blah, 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 and I do this, and blah, 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 and I call up, and I look at my numbers, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you look at the numbers of how little you sold of a product because it was sitting on the third floor, on the third tier rather than on the bottom, so the customers couldn't buy it. And then what, you recommended another product instead, so you screwed over the other supplier, got a new one in, and then you look good to your boss. More crypto bullshit. It's all the same. The more incompetent you are, the better you look on crypto and blockchain. That's my editing studio from the 90s. I won a Los Angeles Emmy with that. Oh, this thing here. You could redo this whole thing with just this and a couple, and it's that memory sticks. You got this whole studio right here with all the knobs and dials and everything. And everyone in the world is too freaking stupid and lazy to do it. You could sell millions of these if you updated them. I swear, I don't even know where I live sometimes.